Hey, good morning, everybody. It is now Friday, and it is 8.05. I was up till about 2 o'clock last night working on uh, some videos, working on getting that shipping stuff set up for the new, uh, the new line of apparel. And as you can see, I'm bright and chirpy right now, getting to the gym for morning cardio. I'm going to do probably another 20 minutes on the stair mill, then head on back. Got the uh, the plumber coming this morning to fix some things, so that'll be good. We got a clogged sink. <laughs> so we're just like everybody else. We got issues, and uh, it'll be nice to have my sink unclogged. But we'll be uh, we'll be getting this morning cardio done because that's key to getting lean and shredded. Got to got to got to do it for more than just the fact of getting lean and shredded, but it also helps your cardiovascular system deliver nutrients to your muscle cells. If you have a good cardiovascular system, the, the better it operates, the better those nutrients are gonna get to your muscle cells. So that's food for thought. Think about it that way. So every bit is important to staying lean as it is to gaining and growing muscle. On that note, I'm at the stoplight here. I'm gonna go in, do my morning cardio. We'll be back soon. Okay, literally just uh, stepped off the stair mill and uh, did 20 minutes of hit interval training. Well, actually, I did 10 minutes of steady state with like a three minute warm up, and then I, I did a minute interval, so a minute at uh, seven or eight, and then a minute down at four was the speed. And I gotta be honest, man, I'm way sweatier and I'm way, I feel like my cardio system is working way better when I do hit versus just doing steady state, which I've been doing here and there. Just kind of testing the waters, you know, this is this is the first week back into doing cardio. And I, like I said, guys, is what I recommend for the Genesis program, and I'm going to be recommending it again for Unleashed. It just, man, it just kicks your ass, and it's what I need. If, if we notice that, uh, you know, the muscle mass isn't increasing as much as I'd like it to, and body fat is holding steady, then it means I need to stop doing hit, lower my heart rate down in like the 140 to 150 range. That way I'm not doing any muscle wasting. But it's 8.32 now, I gotta run back and I gotta eat. I gotta fuel this machine. I'm gonna do that, catch up with you guys soon. Standing next to each other. Right, uh, what's going on? Uh, <laughs> All right, so I got my boys and twins here. You guys introduce yourself to the world. I'm Robert Sclerasio, Anthony Sclerasio. And they look nothing alike, as no. you can tell. <laughs> so the, uh, the boys are here because we're, uh, you know, the supplement dro line drops in about a week, and so what we're doing is we're gonna toss in a couple bottles of each. So this is the T-Volve, this is the test booster, Syphos pump formula, and I'll give you guys a couple of each to take with you. There's that. We got, we got more. We got Gabe on the bottle. And then Brian Cage on the other one. <laughs> Actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save that for myself. So you guys That's split ridiculous. split those between yourselves. I'm gonna save these for yeah. obvious shooting purposes so the other hey. other bots get there. Um, you can take two of those twice a day. Okay. The, the dosage on there is a little low, for right. obviously for recommended reasons. Mm -hmm. So take two twice a day. Take this right before you work out too. All and right. you can double the dosage on that safely. If you're taking pre-workout though, yeah. you know, just stick to the recommended dosage of the Cyphos. Awesome. Or else you'll be like, ah, super yeah. fun. <laughs> your eyes will jump out of your head. <laughs> hey, stop it. Yeah. What are you guys doing the rest of the day? Uh, are you at the gym right now? Yeah, we're there. Are you, go are you going or are you going, going right now? Oh, yeah. sweet, man. Yeah. We're going tonight. Uh, there's a 16-year-old kid that found us. Hey, stop. Found us, uh, I don't know, he gave it, shot us a Facebook message or something, and he was like, hey, I live in Santa Rosa. I want to work out with you guys. I'm like, oh, cool. How old are you? He's like, I'm 16. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> so me and Howard and John are going to go over to 24 tonight and train him and his cousin, I guess, and uh, nice. we're going to be there at That's 7. Sweet. And he was funny. He's like, oh, I want to do an arm workout. I'm like, well, guess what? We're doing legs. <laughs> and he's like, oh, I Maybe really want to do arms. I think I won't go today. And I, I told him, I said, you want, you want to do arms? you got to earn it. So. <laughs> Good. When you arms, we're doing go, legs uh, every go day. Go do your thing, boys. I'll uh, walk you out. I looked at your arm workout online. <laughs> Which one? <laughs> well, out with, that, uh, with the, your thousand rep one? Yeah, with your friend for the, that you wrestled with. Oh, yeah, bro. Uh, he is a monster. Yeah, Cage? Yeah, what do you have? Uh, oh, Rick Juan. You're talking Rick about Juan, yeah. Rick. Yeah, oh, what bro. What do you have? 325s, he said? Dude, so stupid. And he posted <laughs> something the other day where he, uh, I think he was curling 225. Oh, my God. He had two plates on there. It was just it was stupid. That so. is, maybe one day I'll grow up and look like you guys. Yeah, right? Yeah. <laughs> Put your big boy pants on. Exactly. <laughs> Good. Well, enjoy. Get out of here. Hey. Uh, 
So what you're not hearing here is uh, me in total dismay, and it's because we forgot to turn the microphone on the camera, but you kind of get the idea about how serious this is. What had happened is I had just gotten a notice from PayPal saying that they had frozen all of our assets, and I keep all of Body Spartan's assets in the PayPal account because it's where we do all of our transactions. We pay our employees through it. We pay our bills through it. Facebook ads are linked directly to it. All of our Facebook spends are there. AdWord spends. I mean, you name it, it's there. So that is how we do our business. That's how I pay my bills, get my mortgage paid, uh, pay for groceries, pay for my employees. You know, like, like I said, it was everything. And the reason they froze us was because that we had massive growth. They said exponential unexplained growth in the last four weeks. And they needed to look into it to make sure we weren't doing anything illegal, <laughs> which is which is kind of cool when you think about it. But the reality is it hit us really, really hard right here. And this is me telling Priscilla for the first time exactly what happened. This whole thing just um, really fucking threw me for a loop today. I It was affected me so bad that you know it kind of affected my family because now I'm I was really in my own head very quiet not really responsive trying to think of solutions and then at the same time I was and still am kind of stressed out about the outcome you know, there's a possibility they could hold the money for 180 days there's a possibility they could um, release it tomorrow and of course being a business owner and a family man, you're always thinking about tomorrow because you have to put food on the table and it makes you really think. And it, what it did is it, it affected me so bad that I actually went upstairs and I crashed, man. I just like told my wife, I'm gonna go lay down for a little bit and I slept for two hours, middle of the day. I wasn't even tired, but I was so stressed out about this that I slept, you know, I laid down. Before I did that, I dove into uh, the Nutrition Solutions pancakes I had two of those like you know obviously I went way over the macros on carbs but it just it, it makes you want to do things that you don't usually do so you know for some reason my body's got this crazy sugar craving right now so I went and I I, <laughs> I started eating my chicken and I got like three quarters of the way done with it I'm like I don't want it I'm gonna go eat you know a, a cheat meal that they gave me one of those cheap protein bars because they taste good and I'm human, man. Just like everybody else, I make mistakes. And that is kind of what I'm feeling like. I, I was, <laughs> I'm literally three quarters of the way done with that thing. And I, I looked up and I'm like, what am I doing? You know, no matter what, I got to set the bar. No matter what, I'm the guy that's got to show everybody else that no matter how fucking bad it gets, you just pick yourself up off the ground and you keep going you scrape yourself off the pavement and you keep going there's always a way i say that all the time there's always a way and i'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret and you're probably gonna think i'm crazy 90 percent of you out there will probably think i'm crazy but this is one of the well-kept secrets of very successful people and it is this thing called the vortex and the vortex is a state of mind there is an energy that we produce, and it's actually been documented that humans produce magnetic fields and energies, and it changes based on emotion. The wavelengths change. The, the more negative you are, the lower your vibrational levels, the lower the frequency that you emit, or emit, sorry. The happier you are, the higher your vibrational levels. So think about molecules. Everything vibrates. I'm sure you learned that in science, basic science in high school. You know, everything vibrates. Everything um, shakes a little, has a little bit of vibration to it, a frequency. And so this is your, your overall frequency is what we're referring to. You vibrate at a higher level when you're happy. When you're vibrating at a really high state, your frontal cortex is really active. Your creativity levels are really active. You, you're happy and you believe good things are going to happen to you. And this is... If you guys ever seen that movie, The Secret, I know, of course, right there, I'm sure half of you just turned this off. But in reality, they talk about asking and asking the universe for something and understanding that it's going to happen. 
you have to have the ability to know things are going to happen. Make gut instincts. You hear successful people talk about this all this t all the time. It was a gut instinct. I just knew to do it. You know, I knew. Nobody told me. I just knew. Well, that's how I make most of my decisions. I, I make them by gut instinct, a feeling. Of course, I like to have it backed by data, but I make a lot of decisions based on feeling. Uh, who I'm going to bring onto the team, who I work out with, who I associate myself with. And what happens is when you are in the vortex, you're happy, things are going right, you start thinking about things that you want. What are the things that you want? And right now, before I sat down to make this video, I was in a real bad state. I was at a real low vibration level. I let it get me down. And here's what happened. It affected my family. My electronic devices started going wonky. This is this is true. Like one thing that you can see is that it's like this downward downward spiral. Like my keyboard's dying. <laughs> All of a sudden, the coincidental that the keyboard's dying. Um, you know, my phone was glitching. Priscilla's phone was glitching. But it's only when they're around me. <laughs> um, Again, it's okay if you think I'm crazy, but when you get to where I'm at and a lot of successful people are and you kind of expand your mind, you start thinking, holy crap, there's way too many coincidences going on right now. And there is no way to effectively measure whether or not you're in the vortex or whether or not any of this shit I'm talking about works. However, anecdotal evidence points to it and personal experience points to it. So here's what I did. I sat down and I changed my attitude. I was like, you know what? Fuck it. I've done this before, I've, I could do it again. If PayPal decides to hold all of Body Spartan's funds, stupid me for not transferring any of it out into separate accounts, of course, that was my fault, lesson learned. Maybe that's the whole reason this happened so I could learn that. If PayPal holds all of Body Spartan's funds and we can't do advertising, we can't pay our employees and we can't pay our web developers for the work they've already done, we're in the shitter. But you know what? I will find a fucking way to fix this. That is what I do. I've built from the ground up, I will do it again. I will find a way to build that website myself. I will integrate a new payment system and I will find a way to get it going. As long as I have you guys that believe in me and what we do, we will continue to put this material out. I will do this no matter what the cost. If I'm homeless and living on the street and I've got access to my camera right there, you bet your ass you're gonna be hearing from me. That's what we do, and I'm trying to take this and pass it on to you guys because I think as I, even as I'm talking, I feel better about everything, and I feel like things are going to be okay. So here's the here's the way that we get through this. When we're feeling negative, and something is freaking us out, and you're feeling down, one of the methods that we've learned to overcome that is to start thinking about the things that you want rather than the things that you don't want. If you live in a state of fear, you're never going to get what you want. You have to live in a state of understanding that the things that you want are going to come to you if you believe it. So the things that I want is I want this payment system issue to be resolved. I want that to be resolved. I want to be able to provide my followers with the apparel that they want. I want to be able to continue to make new programs so that people will have their lives changed. So that people can lose weight gain more muscle mass, complete a 12-week fitness program and understand, hey, if I can do that, I can do anything. You've heard this before from me. I, I really believe that if you follow through with the fitness program, you have the ability to do anything because you have set your mind to it. And it unlocks this, this door in your brain and you just go, holy crap, I can do that. I can do anything. I, I, I pushed myself beyond what I thought I was capable of doing. And I could do anything right now. I'm gonna to continue to make those programs so that people believe in that. They can reach their goals. I'm gonna make that available to them. I'm gonna give them good quality supplements. I will find a way to make that happen. I'm going to grow Body Spartan, not into some crazy corporate entity that doesn't care about their followers, but I'm gonna to continue to grow Body Spartan into the, hey, we answer every single message on social media. And we get back to everybody because we care. We go above and beyond. We put out programs that work, and if you have a question, we will help you. If you have a problem, we will take care of it. So I have limited time before I got to meet John and Howard and a new kid named Carlos who's actually 16 years old. He hit me up on, I don't know if it was live chat or Facebook, found me somehow. He, he lives in Santa Rosa. He wants a workout, so him and his cousin are going to meet us. Uh, we got us cleared with his parents. He's good to go, so I have to bounce out of here pretty quick. But before I do, I'm going to return some messages. And I'm going to do what I need to do instead of letting that shit pile up. 
that's going to change my attitude. I'm going to answer them happily. And if I got to issue refunds for, for whatever reason, I ain't going to worry about it. If uh, people have questions, I'm going to answer them with a smile. And I'm going to continue on like nothing has happened because what I want is for this company to continue. And I want it to continue to grow and be successful and show people through this video that no matter what, there is always a way. And we are all human and we all fall short. I do. You know, I just kind of ruin the night for my family because I was in a real bad mood. But I gotta go fix that. And I will fix it. And everything's gonna be okay. And that is the attitude that everybody needs to have. Everything's gonna be fine. I'm not even worried about it. And if it's not, we'll find a way around it. We'll find the solution. There's always a solution. Take that to heart right now, guys. Sit on that for a while. I'm gonna get back to this. I'm gonna do some good in the world here. Can redo that? No, I'm gonna redo that, dude. It's about quality, right? So that's what we're here. It's about quality. Push yourself, all right? There's always gonna be someone stronger. There's always gonna be someone weaker than you, all right? But this is about you and building yourself up. So that's that's all we ask. Just give us your everything, 110. percent Let's get the uh, let's get the intro on the guys. So give me your names, guys. And I'm Roberto Gonzalez, in Petaluma. And it's awesome to be here, guys. Sweet. Carlos Baraja. It's an honor to be here, and I'm ready to work hard. How old are you, Carlos? 16. Uh, 20. 20. Hey, what's up, guys? Howard here. So we're here to put, you know, Carlos and Roberto through a leg workout. They wanted to step up to the challenge, and as we always say, we're always looking for people to put through a workout. We're gonna see what these guys are made of, see if they can hang a little bit, right? Let's go. Muscles in your, your medial and your latimus muscles on the outside. So really getting that support, you know, to help like support the, the ligaments. Because ligaments and tendons, we can't rebuild. We can't do anything about those. All we can do is build muscle around them to help develop and strengthen them. So that's the best thing we can do. So you know, we'll take it at your pace because you gotta listen to your body, right? And you're, you're not gonna know your body. Like I'm not gonna know when you're feeling pain. So just communicate. Awesome. Communicate by doing some fucking reps. <laughs> Kim, I thought we were warming up, dude. <laughs> Um, I'm sorry, 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 i Yep. Push, 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 push. Come on. Push. There you go. Nice. Good job, bud. Well done. Good job. Well done. Well done. Well done. Go. Come on. Go. Yeah. Hey. Big breath. Big breath. Good. There it is. There it is. Come on. Up. Yeah. Nice. Let's get it in a row, fucker. Come on, Howie. Easy way. Easy way. Kill it, go! There you go. Yep. Go, go, go! Kill it. Up. There you go. Get it, get it, get it. Get it. Two. One. Yeah. Ready. Get up. One more if you want. Come on. There you go. Come on. Push. One. Oh. Oh. And one. Come on. And one. And one. Walk it in. Walk it in. Shoot. Come on. Come on. There it is. There it is. All the way up. All the way up. I'm the captain now. <laughs> You've been waiting for that day, haven't you, Howie? <laughs> Say it again. Uh, maybe, maybe just maybe. waiting for a little bit, he, but you know, you know you're saying? He just got sitting? you in the four rep chair. Right now you see me spotting John. That's because Gabe is sitting in the four rep chair. <laughs> we don't like that four rep chair. You stay in that four rep chair until we that let four you rep out. Chair. It's like the timeout chair. <laughs> Go, John. Go, John. Woo! 
I'm only sitting in the four rep chair. Come on, come on. Go. Push. Two. Another one. Another one. Another one. Another one. You're good. You're good. Up. Three. Again. Last one. Four. Come on, buddy. Four. Four. Yeah. Easy. 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 Easy
I blame the one that always up. has the relentless ideas. We're barely warming up here. Thanks, John Foster. <laughs> I hate you. John Foster did 101 reps, you did 250. So, who and the he fuck? He did 100. I know, he 11. did 111. Oh, right, 112. Yeah, 112. Well, how he does 180. <laughs> yeah. So now you got you got to like start. hit 300, brother. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I'm not done. So, in the interest of time, it's 10:13. I think we're going to call it. There's too many people, we got five guys here we're rotating and we don't have the pump we need because the wait in between sets is too long but I think what these guys learn is that they have more ability than they knew when they got here. They know how to push themselves. I think, not even Carlos broke sweat, which <laughs> means we're not doing our job but they uh, they have a lot of heart oh, no. and- uh, he, he worked fucking hard. He, he really did. Yeah. I mean, both these guys pushed themselves beyond the wall. They pushed themselves, I think, harder than they have before. Something different. So what we'll do next time, you know, we'll leave, we'll leave a Spartan or two at home. We'll get them to come in and we'll put them through a workout where they only get two minutes of rest in between sets max. Not and a we'll, 10 minute rest? No, no 10 minute rest in between. <laughs> no. uh, minutes but rest, this is good. So we're gonna post you. this workout up, give these guys a little spotlight because they earned it tonight. They definitely earned their, their air time. So we're proud of them. 16 year old Carlos, 20 year old Roberto. You know, hats off to those guys, man. Their yeah, sign off that you guys did great. All right, thank you. Appreciate I appreciate it. Worked my ass off. Mm -hmm. Happy <laughs> back. Just a warm up. Killed it. Just <laughs> a warm up. All right, cool. We're done. Awesome. All right, guys. So we're back at the house, and that was uh, wrapping up that leg workout with Howard, Carlos, and Roberto, and John Foster. Really impressed with those kids, man. They push themselves beyond what I thought was even possible for kids that age. And like I said, they don't have roadblocks in their heads like we do. They don't have the boundaries that we set on ourselves. So what you saw tonight was like untainted, true mind muscle connection from those kids, which was amazing. It was really amazing. I've been about, let's see. We got to the gym, started about eight. I think I ate at seven and it's 11. So I'm four hours past my meal, I'm way past. I got a Nutrition Solutions meal prep in the, uh, in the microwave there. It's uh, some steak, I'm about to down that. Take my T-Volve real quick uh, before bed here so I can post-workout, boost my testosterone. Get some, get some water, hang on. Spent. Spent some good time uh, chatting with Howard after the workout, which is why I'm so far behind. We, uh, we talked a lot about content for Body Spartan, where we want to take it. Uh, once the mobile app gets going, we had a good talk about what kind of content we provide to you guys, uh, what his role is going to be, uh, what my role is going to be, and what we think we can come up with for uh, you know weekly content, which is part of this strategy to provide you guys with ongoing, really, really good content that's going to help you grow and meet your goals. So that's today. I'm going to turn in, eat, shower, go to bed because I do not smell good right now. Um, Oh, before I do that, I just want you guys to know this workout really changed my perspective on things. The whole PayPal issue, I know it's going to get resolved, just like I said earlier. I've shifted the way I've been thinking, and I know it's going to be okay. And if it's not, I'm going to find a way to rebuild. But right now, I've got, uh, I've got my brand ambassadors to think about, my family to think about, and I'm just going to stay positive and think that, you know what? Everything's going to be fine, and that's how we have to think. 
and we have to think, what do we want? Well, I want things to work out and they will. So I'm off to do those other things like showering so I don't stink. All right, guys. Later.